everyone welcome to another video in this video i will explain about configuring environment variables in power apps why environment variables are required you know that most often applications require different configuration settings right for example input parameters when we deploy in different environments let's say for development environment we have different connections and for production we have different connections or different input parameters so normally we store that in hard-coded text right so environment variables store the parameter keys and values which then serve as input to various other application objects so separating the parameters from the consuming objects which allows you to change the values within the same environment or when you migrate solutions to other environment let's say you want to export for export your solution from your development environment and uh, you want to import in production so if you have an environment variable then you can change that while exporting or while importing the solution in target environment right so if you talk about benefits of uh, environment variables then it provides new parameter values while importing solutions to other environments right so dynamically you do not need to specify or change the hard-coded uh, text every time rather while importing you can change it right you can also store configuration for the data sources which is used in canvas app or flow so there are many advantages but i will show you how we can configure environment variables and use it in canvas apps so this is the solution power app solution and here you have to add the uh, environment environment variable as a component click on new and go to more and click on environment variable every environment variable requires some information like display name name and uh, description with data type right now give a name let's say i want to give let's say l1 approver so by default the name is automatically formatted as soft underscore l1 approver you can give the description here let's say l1 approver email and you can define a data type whether it is a decimal number input parameter or it's a json type text yes no boolean data source or a select secret right so you can choose uh, let, let me choose text and give a value <coughs> let's say i can give like this so this is a uh, email i'm just trying to provide So I'm expecting L1 approver should be this person with this email and that is stored in L1 approver as a uh, new environment variable, right? You will find two things here while configuring environment variables. One is default value and another is current value, right? So default value is something which is part of your current environment variable definition, right? It is not at all a required field, right? But if you do not have any current value, then you can specify some default value, which is default to the current environment, right? And current value is also known as the value, right? So this property is optional and is a part of the environment variable value table. There are two tables which is responsible to store this environment variables. One is environment variables values, another is environment variables definitions. I'll show you in uh, while using this environment variables. Now if you use current value then that value will be stored in the environment variable values table otherwise it will be the default value will be available in the definition table itself right so it's not mandatory but you can provide some value as per your need right okay so let me click on save so i have created a new environment variable of type text which will store the L1 approver with the email ID, right? So once the variable is created, you will see the variable uh, environment variable is listed in the power up solution. And this is the sol uh, this is the environment variable. Now I want to use it, right? So to use this environment variable, let us create a new canvas apps. So click on new, click on canvas apps. Let's say, uh, give a name, test app, and you can give a option tablet so as i have told you environment variables are stored in two configuration tables one is environment variables values 
and the second one is environment variable definition so first you have to connect that two tables using data option go to data and click on add data and select environment option you will see here two tables are option available environment variable definitions and environment variable values connect both the tables to your canvas apps or power apps you can connect also this two table in your flow or power automate also so click on add data and i can search now it will give you two options and two data tables are added here two tables right so these are the configuration tables which stores the configuration items or uh, the environment variables now i want to read the environment variable which i have created into a label for example so i will take a label here and in this label i'll give i'll just change the text as blank for now and I'll take a button here and I'll just mention the text as get config value right now when my intention is when someone click this button the L1 approval should be updated should be displayed in the level here I have created right so how to do that we have to write down some power fx although i have connected the two tables which contains the environment variables i have to read the variable informations right so click on this table uh, click on this button and go to action and in the on select i want to write down something right let's say i want to create a variable i want to create a variable global variable to store the environment variable let's say l1 approver and i want to do a lookup to the table called as environment variable definition right because this is the table which stores the uh, l1 approver environment variable with default value right and i will check whether this schema name is subt underscore l1 approver so this is the schema name l1 approver and instead of this value you can just define dot so we are just doing a lookup right so I want to look up this table and the condition is whether the schema name so I'll just use definition dot you can mention here dot Or you can define this directly environment variable definition dot what's that to <coughs> directly you can give schema name equal to sub underscore l1 approver and i want the value of the default value right now it will give it will this power fx will uh, will initialize or it will look up the environment variable definition table with a schema name matching soft underscore l1 approver and it will retrieve the records default value column information and it will set this variable now this variable i want to set for the label text property right now if i'll run it and click on this button i will get the value that is available in the default variable default value of this 
environment variable you can see here right now as we have retrieved the environment variable information using powerfx now you can use this environment variable in your application as for your need right now you have to remember that whenever you create any environment variable you can use this powerfx to read the information uh, from your environment tables environment variable tables now as because i have not given any current value for this environment variable now let me go back and show you something let me go to here and again open power apps so if i would have selected any current value then i would have retrieved the information from uh, environment variable values table because here i am retrieving environment variable definitions right i am not retrieving uh, from values table but if it is required you can use variable uh, values for example let's go here and i'll go to uh, i'll go to development and go to the solution first open the same solution where i have created the environment variables on this one go to solutions and i'll go to school solution now here i will go to environment variable section and open the same environment variable and i will give a current value for this environment variable right i have already assigned a default value but whenever you define a default value for an environment variable that will not store anything in the environment variable values table until unless you define a current value let me give a current value here def at the rate shop chip 21 dot shop dot com that means for this environment click on save this environment the value i have assigned current value i have assigned this one right now whenever you export the solution with this variable environment variable while importing in target environment it will ask you to provide a value uh, for the target environment now how to read this information if i'll go to here and try to again click this i'll get the same default value here right but i want the current value now the current value is uh, stored in the uh, values table environment variable values table so right now this is the variable which stores the value now I can assign to this variable or assign to this label as current value right now if I'll run it and click on this it will give you the current value now you have to remember this power effect right if you do some problem here then it will not give you the uh, result right now the power effects is look up environment variable values then filter by environment variable definition schema name equal to your schema name of this environment variable thank you for your time guys uh, i hope it helped you uh, you can also use this in power automator flow to get the information of environment variables also while importing the environment uh, while importing the solution also you can override the value of the environment variable thank you see you next time